Hello, how you doing? In this video, I'm gonna talk about pine cone. Have you heard the term pine cone? And you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is. Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. The pine cone vector database is a specialized database designed to efficiently store, index, and query vector data. Vectors are numerical representations of complex data types like text, images, or audio. These vector numerical representations are also known as embeddings. I've created a video on embeddings, and if you'd like, feel free to check this out for more details. I'll share this link later at the very end of this video. Pinecone has two infrastructure deployment models. The first is pods. Pinecone pods are for users who need dedicated, consistent performance and are willing to manage and pay for reserve capacity. Think of having your own dedicated Pinecone instances. The second is serverless. Pinecone serverless is for users who prefer a fully managed, scalable solution that adjusts resources dynamically based on your usage. This deployment model is ideal for variable workloads. Think of sharing Pinecone instances with others in a safe and secure manner. Next, I wanna cover Pinecone's hierarchy of organizations, projects, indexes, and namespaces. In Pinecone, this hierarchy enables you to organize your data and resources, providing you with a clear way to manage your vector data storage operations. At the top of the hierarchy, you have organizations. The organization typically represents your company, team, or broader group of users. An organization can contain multiple projects. All users and billing are managed at the organizational level, allowing centralized control over your Pinecone usage. Members of an organization can collaborate across different projects within that organization sharing resources and access controls. A project is a subset within an organization. It groups together related resources such as indexes and API keys for a specific use case, team, or application. In relational databases, rows are stored in tables. In Pinecone, vectors are stored in indexes. You can think of an index as a table in Pinecone. Pinecone indexes contain vectors. So what is a namespace? A namespace is a way to logically separate vector data within a single index in Pinecone. It allows you to store and query different subsets of vectors within the same index without mixing them up. Each namespace is a distinct partition within the index and can perform operations like inserting, querying, and deleting vectors within a specific namespace. Namespaces are useful when you wanna segregate your data for different environments such as dev, QA, or production. Multi-tenancy is another use case for namespaces. Multi-tenancy is a software architecture where a single instance of a system serves multiple customers or tenants while ensuring data isolation between them for privacy and security. Namespaces enable you to implement multi-tenancy by segregating different users or customers' vector data all within the same index. In Pinecone, common operations are creating indexes, upserting, deleting, fetching, or querying vectors. But before you can do all of this, you need to first create a Pinecone account, and second, you need to get an API key. You can do this by going to the Pinecone website and signing up for an account if you don't have one or logging in if you already do. Once logged in, navigate to the dashboard, select the project. On the dashboard under your project, look for a section labeled API keys or a similar option in the navigation menu. If an API key has already been generated, you'll see it listed here and you can copy it by clicking on the copy button next to the key. If you need to create a new API key, there should be an option to generate a new key. Click on it 
name your key, and then generate it. Once the key is generated, copy it for use in your applications. Okay, you should have a good understanding of the high-level features of Pinecone. In subsequent videos, I'll go over creating indexes, upserting vectors, querying vectors, etc. But the goal for this video was to give you a 30,000 foot overview of this powerful cloud-based vector database. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all my other videos in the vector databases playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning and AI, but don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, tell me in the comments. I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day. Thanks.